All right, guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show y'all the top 10 historic classic teams in this game that you could play with to win games to compete with the best of the best. Number 10, it has to be the 14 Clippers because they had Chris Paul, you got DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin, you got Danny Granger, you got JJ Reddit, Jamal Crawford, Darren Collinson, and you got Turkaloo. Now, the great thing about this team is that they well balanced, you can do what you wanna do, and Blake Griffin is very OP because you got a lot of weak power for it in today's game, so you get able to bruise it with, with Blake Griffin, and plus he's very fast, and one thing people not talk about is that he got a Hall of Fame poster wise in me that once he down there in the paint, it's automatically a dunk or it'd be like a, an N1 foul. Now, DeAndre Jordan, he could defend one of the best big men in the game, but he could slow them down. Now, not stop them, but slow them down. I mean, like, you, you, you would not be paint mashing that, like that very easy. You have to work against DeAndre Jordan. It's not going to be easy down there. And Chris Paul, Chris Paul is amazing. And now, under that, you can run plays with JJ Reddick with the floppy plays. Or the you know the fist plays or the punch plays for JJ Reddy, he get open for the three ball. So his three ball is lethal. His three ball is like a 95. Number nine, I have to go with the 71 Bucks because you got Kareem Abdul Jabbar, one of the best centers in the game today. You got Oscar Robinson, one of the best point guards in the game. He's 6'5. He can do what he wanna do. He got nice dribble moves, he can shoot the three ball. And then you got McLaughlin, the guy is a, a sniper from the three-point line. And you got Ball Dangerous, a guy that could play defense, and he could shoot the three ball from the corner like it's nothing, and he got a nice jumper. Now, the problem is with this team that their bench is so trash, you don't want to play with them. The only time you can play with your bench is that one guy, he's like 7 foot tall, but I forgot his name. You could put him at the fall, so just in case somebody trying to cheese down there, so you could count on that. The great thing about use of this team is that Kareem Dujo Ball do so much for this team. He hustles, he's fast. I think he got like an 84 speed. So he can hustle down the court very fast. You just give him the ball, he's just dunking every time he feel like it. And not only that, he got a nice jumper. He got an 85 mid range. He got a post hook, a fade. He could dunk on you, whatever he feel like it. He grab rebounds, hustle. He does everything, block shots. This, this man's OP, man. They got a hard time dealing with this guy. So make sure you use him if you want to win games. Number eight, you have to go with the 2008 Rockets because they got Tracy McGrady, you got Yao Main, Shane Battier, Wait for Austin, and coming off the bench, you have Snee Novak and Luke the Head. A great thing about this team is that when you use Tracy McGrady, he got a Hall of Fame limits range. That means that you could pull from half court if you feel like it if they sag goal. Because a lot of guys like the sag goal, especially guys like the off ball. When you catch them off ball with a CPU, because CPU is going to stand in. So what you do is that you see that. You're able to shoot that, they're gonna get mad. And Tracy McGrady is too good. He could dunk on you. He he moves kind of fast. You gotta know his animation, his dribble moves. And not only that, you got Yame, 76. That guy is a glitch. I don't know, I don't know who's gonna stop that man. I don't think Shaq could stop him. Like he's cheese. Now he's 76, he grabbed every rebound, he blocked shots. He moved kind of slow, but he, he could score in the post. He could fade, hook shot, dunk on you. The, the post takeover is OP. So if you need help, make sure you use that team. A lot of people don't pick that team. Number seven, I had to go with the 2005 Spurs because you got Tim Duncan, you got Milo Ginobili, you got Bruce Bowen, Tony Parker, you got Wabo Ori, you got Brent Berry, and the rest of the bench squad you could use. What I do is I put Tim Duncan at the five because he got the same five three ball, he could stretch the floor. They gave him, they gave him a 90 mint range. That means that if you leave that man open, he will green it 90% of the time. And Bruce Bowman got a fast jumper so that if they sag off or they all ball you, make sure you shoot it right away. You're able to green it quickly. Especially you had release on early, so make sure you had that. And Tony Parker is a floor general. He got a gold floor general, and that means that he makes his team makes better. And Ted Duncan, enough said. Like, he can do what you want to do. And Ginobili is the type of guy that go could dribble the ball, could shoot the three ball. He got a nice jumper. Number six on the list, I gotta go with the 2001 Lakers because you got Shaq and Kobe, the most dom dominant players in the game today. You got Rick Fox, Wabo Ori, David Fisher, Brian Shaw, and Todd Lowe. Now, the great thing about using this team is that you got a, a great shooting guard like Kobe Bryant. He got the three ball. His three ball is 79, but if you green and know his jump shot, it, would, it wouldn't matter. And, first, and plus, he got a faster jump shot. It's very quick compared to last year. So you're able to put it in their face if you wanted to. Especially the guys like the old ball against you. Make sure you put it in their face and you just shoot it. Because sometimes most of these guys don't like to do their sentence. 
And then when you use Shaq, a lot of guys got weak centers in that position. So you're able to dominate with Shaq. Sometimes Shaq be bugging out, but Shaq get things done. And all of that, when you play against Shaq, sometimes guys like the old ball with Shaq. So it's really hard to score against Shaq. The only weak spot for the 2001 Lakers is a power forward position. Because if you put Horace Grant there, they like to double team Shaq down the post. So if you don't want no double team against Shaq, make sure you put Wabo Ori at the four. So that way, just in case they bring help, you could dish it out to him. Number five, I have to go with the 2019 Raptors because you got Kawhi Leonard, the guy that could score the ball. And he got a Hall of Fame defensive badges and he played defense. He's one of the best two-way players in the game. So it's great to have him on that team. You got Kyle Lowry, the guy, the guy that could have nice dribble moves. He, he moves kind of fast. He could guard the, the best point guards in the game, such as Steph Curry, Dane Dollar, and you know the West. And you got Siakam. You got Serge Ibaka. They're supposed to have Marcus Saul, but he's not in the game. Or I'm not sure that they update him. He probably in the game, but not on the lineup. So they need to update that. But Marcus Saul supposed to be in the lineup. You know, you know how 2K is weird by that. The great thing about this team is that they got shooters around all over the court. Serge Ibaka could shoot the three ball. You got Siakam can shoot the three ball. His jump shot is kind of weird, so make sure you, you work on his jump shot as well. So everybody can shoot from this team, man. They can't all ball against you because if they do, you can make them pay. You can punish them by doing that. So you had a hard time winning games and playing out. Make sure you use that team so that way you could be happy. You'd be good to go. Number four, you had to go with the 2004 Lakers because not only they got Shaq and Kobe, you got Karl Malone and Gary Payton. This is a team that, that should have won a championship, but they did not. But anyway, they still OP in this game. And not only that, they added Gary Payton, a guy that could lock up your favorite point guards in the game. A good thing about Gary Payton is that he got gold badges on defense. So you got to be careful if you dribble around Gary Payton or trying to go straight up with Gary Payton because he will strip you and the ball will go off your knees and it'll be out of bounds. So it's a, that's a great thing about Gary Payton. Now with Kobe Bryant, a guy that has no afro, this is a head cut Kobe Bryant. So this Kobe Bryant is still nice to this day. And you got Shaq, the guy that is still OP. He's still dominating in this game. Because they about the same overall from 2001 Lakers, so it don't make any difference. And you got Karl Malone that you could do you could do something with Karl Malone, but that's the Karl Malone that he retired that year. So he kind of all right, but he could still put up numbers, but he got the he, he got the strength. He could slow down Giannis a little bit, but not too much. But you had to play zone against guys like this because when you play with the, you play against the Bucks and you use the 2004 Lakers, make sure you play zone. Cause they like to spam with Giannis, so that's the only way you can stop them. But other than that, this team is so good, man. Number three, I had to go with the 2013 Heat because this team right here is, is well balanced. That means that you can five out with this team. LeBron James is a monster that year, and he's the best LeBron James I've ever seen in my life. So he could do what he want to do. You cannot stop this man. And not only that, you got Dwayne Wade, you got Shane Battier, you got Chris Bosh, you got Birdman, Mike Miller. And you got Ray Allen, one of the best three-point shooters in all time. He could shoot from everywhere, but he had to play his role because he's a role player. It wasn't his prime. So it's crazy how they have him on that team along with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. Now, the crazy thing about LeBron James is that you could shoot Lillard's Wayne from LeBron, so you cannot leave that man open. I believe that his career high is a three-point range over 40. I think he's got 42 or 41 percentage from the three-point line. So you able to shoot that way you well. I think you got like an 88 three ball or 85. It doesn't matter. Don't leave that man open. That's all I got to say. And knowing that, you got Dwayne Wade. He's still got a nice dribble move. He can slash to the rim. He won't not dunk this much. All right, guys. Number two, I got to go with the 2017 Warriors. Last year, there was number one. But this time, I'm putting them number two because this time, you got to learn how to shoot. You got to green your shot. You can't make your whites with this team like you used to back in those old 2Ks. So this is different. If you know how to shoot with them, that means that that team's still OP. If you don't know how to shoot with them, they're not OP to you. So if you know how to shoot, you good. This team right here got a squad. You got Seth Curry, JaVale McGee, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Iguodala coming off the bench. You got Draymond Green. Even though he's shooting, shooting the three balls okay, but you got to green his shot. It's not like the 16 Warriors and his three balls at 88. So you can still green it though, but, you, but you're not going to knock down as much. But he can still defend though in the best of them. And not only that, they bench, they got Sean Livingston. They gave this man a 76 three ball. That is some cheese. I don't know why they did that. I, I don't never thought that he would shoot a three from that team. I think they ga gas him up with that. So that's straight cap. Now, one thing about Curry and this team is that he still got those same badges from last year compared to the current Warriors version, which he's kind of nerfed. 
Number one on this list is the 1996 Bulls featuring Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Do I need to discuss this? Because you already know why they number one. Because you got the GOAT. Plus, Michael Jordan's on the cover. 